Found her. Yeah. I just need to trade gear with you. Sure thing. Let's get you properly dressed. Nothing wrong with you how you're dressed, but you're not walking through my vault like that. There you go. Vault 88 material right there. Alright. Our first vault residence. What a moment. But, on to business. Exercise is an inherently selfish activity. Instead of using every hour, every minute, to further the goals of the community, a resident instead improves their body past the minimum requirements. vault has devised a solution. The Power Cycle 1000. While you pedal, you provide raw power to the vault. A perfect answer to an inherently counterproductive practice. Alright. Power is important. Settlements can always use power. Precisely. The prototype is far from perfect. There were incidences during its R&D. Maybe even the stray cerebral hemorrhage. Uh, what? Overseer? Oh, Clem. Don't worry yourself. This model won't suffer from those defects. Oh, good. Well. Probably. Let me download the schematic to your pip boy. Build it and attach a terminal to choose the parameters of the experiment. Work Clem hard. Give me power. That doesn't sound too demented. Well, actually, I take it back. She sounds demented. Work Clem hard. Give me power. Obviously, I hope you realize I'm not going to go along with this shenanigan. Alright, I'm gonna put it in the exercise room. Alright, fine jobs for the unemployed. There's only one unemployed person. Access to via power cycle. You gotta be tracker by occasional overview. What's vocational overview? The person I do want to manage. Unemployed farmers. Oh, okay. So, power cycle. <coughs> what's, what's an additional power? Actually, I wanted notes from Dr. Braun. Wasteful exercise turned into clean power, but I can ta but I task your R and D to reach even further. How can we further refine this product? Are there opportunities to further other goals of Altec? Okay, what's additional power? Let's see. Subjects rotation permit by administering electrical shocks. When the subject's rotations permit dips below acceptable levels, the amount of power generated can be increased. Voltage decreased by 50% after severe several failed experiments. See autopsies. Oh, God. No, keep a fire extinguisher nearby just in case. No! I'm not going to let you buy residents. R&D lead. On many trials, we found that some test subjects would present physical resistance to power cycle testing. Use coercive of phys psychological force to maintain the power cycle could provi prove severe could prove problematic faults with minimum security personnel. By discreetly injecting small dosages of buff out, not only will the test subject pedal fast pedal longer and faster, but potentially they'll associate the narcotic effects with the activity. Only test this once in the lab. After four or three hours of continuous pedaling, the test subject experienced a cardiac arrest. Recommend Lowering dosage, dosage for full trial. No, I'm not going to get them hooked on drugs. What's this one? Environmental Enhancer. R&D. Dr. Riley's team took a very different direction in their trials. Despite objections, they posted that if the Power Cycle 1000 was associated with natural 
positive feedback that po that productivity would increase would be enhanced. Using strong aromatic uh, aromatic essential oils, i.e. E.g. a lavender and sweet orange, Power Cycle Prototype elicited a strong initial impression. Yeah, a sub audible soundtrack, a gentle wave slapping on a beach were added. The power our production of this experiment was a dismissal of failure. No, I don't think Ted is working out, Dr. Braun. That sounds completely you, babe. Let's do that. All right, Clem, we got the power cycle all ready up for you, buddy. Don't you be like I cur. Do you hear me? Don't take forever. It took me a while to get her into the, uh... I'll do well. Promise. That's great, Clem. Now get in there. Carrie, don't pull your weapon. I'm the one who's supposed to be intimidating him. There we go. Nothing bad about this. This is all there is to it? Yep. So I I'll keep pedaling. This is kind of fun. <laughs> oh. What's that? Do you smell that? No. I never smelled such a thing. Is that new fruit? Don't fall asleep on us yet, Clem. Exercise sucks. Yeah, tell me about it. <clears throat> so I'm supposed to watch him for an hour, or can I just go do something else? No, I think I'm going to put a bench down, and... Let's see, a bench, a bench, a bench. Bingo. I wonder how high the vault number is. Clem, that may be the good kind of explosion I just heard. Ah, great. Give me one moment, Clem. I think you knocked out the power. I think. Clem, I think you broke the vault. Okay, I think Clem just broke the vault. Is all the lights out? Kerry, I need your help. No, okay, everything's fine. The power cycle appears to have generated an EMP. Fascinating. Yeah, yeah. Oh, man. I'm sorry. I broke your vault. I, I just got so excited and I wanted to do a good job and I kept pedaling faster and faster. And then the whole vault went kablooey. Please don't kick me out. I won't. Don't worry about it. I was looking at the data for the power cycle. If I am reading the report correctly, you chose a lavender and vanilla aroma dispenser. Yep. I feel really relaxed. This vault is the best. Ugh. We're engineering a new society, you know. Not some sort of day spa. My clothes still smell funny. For the next experiment, we'll need something from outside. vault subcontracted out chemical research to Hallucigen Incorporated. It was supposed to be delivered before. Well, before. But... With the mail service out of commission, 
Other arrangements must be made. All right. Coming right up. Be back before you know it. Excellent. Just grab a package for Overseer Barstow. Once we have that, we can start the next experiment. Whoa, Curry! Look at you go! <clears throat> Damn, Curry. I'm so bored. Let's keep it up, Clem. I'm sure you do fine. All right, go to Lucigen. I don't have it on my map. Well, I'll just travel to Hubris Comics. <clears throat> well, I mean by I don't have a map, I mean I don't have it to fast travel to. Oh, well, I guess I'll just... Go there the old-fashioned way. And after... We, this next experiment, I'm going to cut the episode right there. <clears throat> uh, building that vault took a lot more than I than I realized. Because, like I said, I had to figure out how each piece worked. What each one did. <clears throat> putting the roof on. No, everything beforehand was rough. Like, I didn't know what could do what. Nothing here. Gunner. A real sign that says danger. <clears throat> Alright, in we go. Well, I just stepped into the house, didn't I? Are you kidding me? I'm carrying too much again? Carrie, I need your help. Hey. Do you need something from me? Yeah, just... Oh, right, because... There we go. Detected. Please evacuate the building. Damn. I guess it's on the other side of this. Be with you in a moment. Who's there? Come around this side. Oh, shit. I don't think they're interested in civilized discussions anymore. Breach you clear!
lockdown is now in effect. Wait. Nope, didn't make it. I might as well put them out of the misery. Bridge are clear! God dang it. It's obvious there's this little lag I'm having right now. There we go. Sweet. Nothing in here. A chemical leak has been detected. Please evacuate the building. Uh, I I think I came in through there. Okay, that ain't the way. Oh, come on. I told you to jump. Oh, yeah. observation area please step up to the windows for a demonstration of our products and please development no thank you I just want to get out of this madhouse You okay, sir? Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. <laughs> bugs, 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 bugs. He's gone. Are you serious? Nice. A chemical leak has been detected. Please evacuate the building. <laughs> Easier than expected. Where's an easy button to say that was easy? Well, we got it. <clears throat> now let's get the heck out of here before we start going crazy.
might have to put some of this stuff into a box or something <clears throat> for the time being. Yeah, yeah, I'm carrying too much. I just throw all this crap. All right, good news, Barstow. Finally, Vault Eight's <coughs> work can truly begin. I have those chemical formulas for you. Marvelous. Now we can reform another societal picadillo, the hydration break. Whether it rears its head around the coffee pot, water cooler, or soda fountain, it's a menace. vault scientists have conducted experiment after experiment to eliminate this inefficiency, but people feel an irrational need to socialize. So if they must squander their time, let us turn it into the collective good with chemistry. Chemicals bad for you? Oh, Clem, you worry so much, my boy. Everything you eat and drink is made of chemicals, don't you know? Oh, right. That's very interesting, Lady Overseer. These are just special chemicals. <laughs> yeah, you know what? Trust us, Clem. We have your best interests at heart. It's okay. You can trust us, Clem. Maintaining Clem's trust isn't the focus of these experiments. Our collective welfare is. So build the soda fountain, and then serve refreshments to our residents. And Clem, if you get thirsty on the job, feel free to have a cool, refreshing beverage. Gee, thanks. Wait, what the f- Where Clem? Clem, where'd you go, buddy? All right, let's get this out with do do do. Is that Clem over there? Yep, it's Clem. <laughs> I'm beginning to think. I think Officer Barstow doesn't have a thing too highly of Clem or us. There we go. I just connect that over there. Wait, why is the power red? Oh, I think I know why. Uh, know why he's using the cycle. Alright. Let's see what we got here. 
on Java. So to found an experiment. Oh god, these don't look good. At the initial stockpile, food and drink are depleted. Vault residents will become accustomed to anything new we give them. This gives us the intriguing possibility of, a dish of adding chemical supplements to their diet, with them being none the wiser. After much focus testing, we've settled on the soda fountain. The only limit here is our chemical ingenuity. Make vault tech proud. Appetite suppressant! <coughs> Excuse me. We've achieved remarkable progress in synthesizing a lip Ipstatin derivative. True, the side effects are more pronounced, but the efficiency is remarkable. Test subjects over the trial period lost 10% BMI. What's BMI? There has been an unfortunate loss of productivity among the subjects. One complete loss from fatality and two refused to get out of bed, but the others are consuming a quarter or less of the standard of a standard ration. Assuming the kinks can be worked out, it could mean tremendously less resources to feed a full vault. Let's not do that. That sounds horrible. Moonhancer. What's Moonhancer do? <coughs> Lucigen provided us with a small sample of the final product, and it's quite exciting. They've made an extremely psychoactive compound that is soluble in water. It creates a short-term euphoria, euphoria, and in some cases, mild hallucinations. Surprisingly, subjects suffer no withdrawal symptoms, though a substantial predilation to depression after the crash. And at first, for our team, absolutely no fatalities. The worst side effect is Subject 13, who has been seen, who has been staring at his hand for 13 hours straight. Fascinating. No, we are trying to do something about the color and the taste. Let's not do that. <laughs> that sounds horrible. Generic, ca generic caffeination. R&D leads it. I'm about, I'm just about giving. Ought to give up on Ted. If you parse out his team's elaborate presentation, the active ingredient of supplement Z is just caffeine. Plain ordinary caffeine. Unsurprisingly, the test subjects suffered no delirious effects. Ted's team spent an inordinate, inordinate amount of time balancing the flavor and carbonation. They actually did focus testing against Nuka Cola to enhance its appeal. I must admit it's refreshing. God, I hate Ted. <laughs> <coughs> God, I hate dead. <laughs> okay, sure. Generic caffeination. I guess I'm open for business. Uh, Clem, that's not. Oh, God, you're going to be like Barstone, ain't you? Clem, I will push you to the freaking. Okay, let's try. Clem, don't be like this, please. Oh, wait. Clem, for love of Christ. Okay, look, what if I move the TV? The soda fountain's open. Want to be the first customer? Depends. How much does it cost? Oh! It's free. Really? Well, I guess then. <laughs> this is not working out the way I intended. Alright, give me one second. Just move this counter over here. TV goes here. You are ruining my vault, you know that?
smells like something died in here. Ugh. Wait, wait, wait for Clem. What am I supposed to be doing? There we go. Clem, don't do this. <laughs> Let's try putting it over there. Ah, tricked you. Oh, come on, Clem. <clears throat> the soda fountain's open. Want to be the first customer? Depends. How much does it cost? Oh, it's free. Really? Well... Alright, fine. Everyone to your positions. Take three. It seems like the worst part about this DLC is the frickin' pathfinding. They have no clue what the hell they're doing. Clem, baby, it's an easy doorway. Don't be like Barstow. Why... I didn't want to do that. Oh, this DLC is giving me just pains. It's a simple walk through the doorway. Oh, are you serious? Okay, I'll. Cut back when I'm fit when I get this done. <clears throat> All right, I finally fixed it. Experimentation, apply press, generate caffeination. I guess I'm open for business. Yes, Clem, it is open for business. Not where I wanted to be though. I wanted it to be in the cafeteria, but I guess that's an that's an impossibility. Where your customers at? <laughs> what the hell was that? So damn hungry. Maybe I'll get another drink.
She's really taking her damn time, ain't she? <clears throat> this soda's better than Nuka. The soda fountain's open. Want to be the first customer? Depends. How much does it cost? Oh, it's free. Really? Well, I guess then. Well? Mm, wow, that's good stuff. Make sure to come back. All the soda you can drink. All right, I'm just going to take a seat. I'm going to wait an hour. <clears throat> Not so bad job manning the soda fountain. You here to check up? I got a customer right here. Want some more refreshment? Mm, what the heck's in there? I had a Nuka Cola once. This stuff. I know, right? It's got special chemicals in it. No shit. Well, whatever it is, call me a fan. Where's the Elvis here? All right. So I'll head on over up to the office here. Caffeine. Well, it does improve productivity. But really, and together with the dubious success of the power cycle, I really am beginning to question your commitment to the project. But you can still redeem yourself. Ugh, <coughs> Hippocratic oath. A solemn vow to do no harm. Well, roughly, that's what it means. I don't want to get into interpreting dusty Latin textbooks, but that core sentiment of the medical community runs counter to what we're trying to accomplish here. Doctors shouldn't put their patients' welfare first. Instead, their sole focus should be the collective good. You understand, of course. The oath is right, yeah. The Hippocratic Oath is there for a reason. It's the right thing to do. Spare me conventional platitudes. We have history to make. So, enter the Voltec Foropter. A specialized piece of optometrist equipment that, yes, can improve a patient's eyesight. But, potentially so much more. The prototype requires a bit, well, a lot. All right, a staggering quantity of radioactive material. But the results will be worth it. I'm excited. I'm excited to be a part of this plan. You and me together. The world will quake at what we will accomplish. <clears throat> Hopefully, not literally. Don't fret about the nuclear material, by the by. We chose this site for Vault 88 because our surveys indicate that there's a rich source of uranium deeper inside the caves. So, dig deep and get what we need. I think we must, sir. I have news. I can think of better things to get excited about. Oh, that's so true. No, I will not let you derail me. I beg to become a saint for a reason. For science. To be able to make real progress in studying the medical arts. I have had a breakthrough. Using a new strain of mute food, I have discovered a way to greatly improve the restorative properties of steam packs. I realize this is not earth-shaking, but it means that inspiration does exist. Well, it wasn't easy, but you did it. I find my head full of notions, experiments. Many will fail, but maybe I will make more discoveries. And you have given me this capacity. 
And beyond that, so much more. The world is full of life, possibility. You are very dear to me, my close friend. And I hope I can return the many favors you have given me. All right. What we have between us is deeper than friendship. My very first thought in all this excitement was, I must tell you, it wouldn't feel real until I shared it with you. You know, you mean very much. Oh, I am so terrible at this. It's okay. You mean a lot to me. Uh, I dare not hope. When we are apart, I guess and second guess. I should be only thinking about this achievement. Instead, my thoughts, they linger on you. I love you, Kiri. And I love you. The world seems so very bright. And I cannot wait to see what becomes of this. All right, everybody. <laughs> Sorry about that. But that comes to this end of the episode. If you like it, do leave a like, subscribe, comment, and share the video. And I shall see you in the next episode. The next time. Bye-bye.